Okay, so we're recording now, so for this for the camera, if you can please uh, state your name and spell it for us, please. Carlos, C-A-R-L-O-S, Del Rio, D-E-L, space R-I-O. Okay, and your, your, uh, your position and affiliation. I'm the uh, CRS leader of the Ponce de Leon Center here in Atlanta, Georgia. Is an HPTN participating site. Great. So in your words, tell me, why is the AMS study important? I think it's important because we have yet to discover an HIV vaccine. And having an HIV vaccine is going to be critical in stopping this epidemic. So the AMP study is actually testing something very important. Is this neutralizing antibody that clearly neutralizes the viruses, can it prevent infection? Because if neutralizing antibodies prevent infection, then a vaccine could be developed to, to produce the neutralizing antibodies. But before we develop a vaccine, and maybe then the, you discover the neutralizing antibodies don't work. Let's start by giving the neutralizing antibodies IV and then see if that works, then develop the vaccine. So really trying to find, this is just looking for a better approach to a vaccine because up to now, the approaches we've had to vaccines have not been successful. And again, I think developing a vaccine is gonna be critical in stopping this epidemic. Great. For you personally, can you give me your, your level of, of excitement in this, in this new, uh, new approach uh, of, 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 of the antibody mediated? I think the science is fascinating. I think it's really interesting. I think the way this was discovered by John Muscola and his group at the VRC and how this was obtained and developed and, and is just fascinating. The science is incredible. I also feel like I'm about to climb Everest. This is going to be a very challenging study. So while it's very exciting to go up Everest, it's also a study like we've never done before. So this is exploring a new frontier. This is really going to require from our participants a lot more an intensive participation that like they never had before. So I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm terrified if, you, if I can get that across. I, I, you know, it's, it's really a sense of, of, but I also am confident that we can do it. Great. Give me a sense of, from your perspective there, of course, uh, why prevention research matters. As I said, you know, we have treatment, which is prevention. So we can treat people. And let's suppose we were able to find everybody in the world and treat them and stop transmission. You would still, those people will need to be on therapy for the rest of their life. And if you stop therapy for whatever reason, there will still be transmission. And since we're not going to be able to treat everybody and stop totally transmission, we still need prevention. And prevention, therefore, is at the forefront of, of any controlling of any infectious disease. We really need prevention. And it's a combination. It's a combination of biomedical and behavioral approaches. But prevention matters. And prevention really is the way we're going to stop this epidemic. And it's not treatment or, or it's prevention. It's a combination of those two things together brought into programs and into communities that is going to help us stop the epidemic. You mentioned before about vaccines. Why does vaccine research matter? As I said, we need a vaccine. PrEP is important, uh, but we can't put people in PrEP for the rest of their life. When we've been able to control infectious diseases, it's been through a vaccine. So having a vaccine like we've had to control to eradicate smallpox, to control, almost eliminate polio, et cetera. It's, it's really how we're controlling infectious diseases. So having a vaccine is really the, the, the frontier that we all need to, to strive for. And I think uh, my hope is that before my professional life is over, we'll be able to have a vaccine. Great. Last question in English. AMP is an acronym. In your mind, if you were to think of one word just one word that describes the AMP study. What is that one word? I would say it's antibody. It's really uh, infusion. It's really uh, 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 unique. It's really different. It's as I said. It's like never, never thing we'd ever done before. So let's go back. What we're going to do is we're going to be editing people's responses. Yeah. And you said unique and different. If you, if you can choose one yeah. of, of those words, yeah. and I'll ask the question again. Yeah. We okay. Have film here. Again, AMP is an acronym. If you could just limit or think of one word 
that best demonstrates what AM study means to you, what's that one word? Unique. Great, perfect. Great. So we're not going to do 